hello guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i want to show you how to descend centripetal pump like this and i hope you enjoy this tutorial and can help you to design in solid board and let's start it first step we make casing go to front plan activate circle click this point activate smart dimension and make the diameter of circle is 150 activate helix and spiral choose spiral make pitch is 40 and make the revolution is 0 0.95 and star angel 110 degree ok see the spiral is ready after that go to from plan activate center line click this point go to this point uh, sorry cannot escape click this line and click convert make the line is for contraction okay activate again center line click this point to this point exit sketch Activate plan. Click this line and click right plan. Oops, sorry, not like this. Delete this. Click from plan. Okay. Make this height go to right, right plane, activate circle, click to this point, click this point, and this line make yours okay make the circle diameter is 40 okay this is sketch and now go to top plan activate circle click this point and this line make the pierce and make circle diameter is 50 ok exit sketch and after that uh, click right plan activate circle click this point and this line make spurs make the diameter is 60 Is it sketch? Go to top plane again. Activate circle. Click this point. And click this point and this line. Make spurs. Okay. Activate smart dimension and make the diameter is 70. Okay. Exit sketch. Click the plan. Sketch and activate circle. Click this point and this line. 
make spurs okay at the fit smart dimension and make the diameter is 80 okay is it sketch go to from plan click this line and convert this title make the line is for contraction ok activate center line click this point to this point activate smart dimension and make this length is 200 ok and after that activate spline click this point to this point escape click this line and this line make tangent same with that click this line and this line make tangent ok you can arrange the line click this point and drag it click this point and drag it is it sketch? and the sketch is ready to make solid If it's lofted boss, click or circle this point, this point, to this point, and this point, and this point. Go to from plan. Activate center line parameter, max spiral to center line parameter. Click OK. See the solid body is ready. Activate plan. Click this point and top plan for reference. Click OK. Right click this plan and click sketch. At the fit circle, click this point. At the fit smart dimension and make the diameter of circle is 90 mm. Is it? At the fit lofted boss, click this circle and this circle. Click center line parameter. Click this line. Okay. See the solid body is ready. Right click this plane and hide. I think I need to edit the screw of sketch. Right click the sketch and edit. and go up. click this point and go up is it sketch see the solid body is ready go to from plan Activate circle, 
and make this circle diameter is 165 millimeter activate extrude cut choose direction is mid plane drag the arrow and cut wall face Go to from plan. Click this sketch. Create convert as detail. Activate extrude boss. Make this 60 mm and direction mid plan. Okay. Oops, sorry. Uh, right click this sketch and activate offset exitor click the circle make this 5 mm and direction reference ok exit sketch Right click this plan and click sketch. Click this sketch and click offset editor. Make this 3 mm and click reverse direction. Click OK. Exit sketch. Do the same thing on this lofted sketch. After done, activate lofted cut and click sketch we just made before. Make spiral for centerline parameter and click OK. See the hole is making and now we want to make hole in this area you can do it like this go to from plan activate center line Click this point and click this point. Activate smart dimension and make ten degree. Make line length is sixty millimeter.
exit activate plan and click this line and click from plan ok right click this plan and click sketch activate center line click this point to this point activate circle click this point activate smart dimension and make line length is 8 mm and make diameter of circle is 20 mm exit sketch go to from plan show this sketch activate spline click this point to this point go to from view activate certain line Click this point to this point. Make vertical and make the line tangent. And at the fit center line, click this point to this point. Make the line tangent. Okay. Exit sketch Show this sketch Sorry, uh, I lost wrong tools at the field of that boss click this circle and this circle and center line par parameter is this line click ok and now we cut the outside the sketch click this sketch and click this edge and convert as detail use a shortcut and through all ok Activate lofted cut. Click the circle. Sorry, the circle. And the circle. And center line parameter this this line. Click OK. T 
see the hole is making now hide the sketch and this line sketch and now we want to make hole in this area right click this face and click sketch in the field of the editor make 3mm and reference direction insert sketch Activate lofted cut and click this circle. And click this sketch. Make this a uh, sketch for center parameter ok see uh, the hole is making And now we make outlet flow in this casing centrifugal pump. Go to front plan. Activate center line. Click this point. To this point. Activate line. Click this point to this point and go down to this point and go back. And I want this point spurs with this circle edge click this point and this edge click spurs ok activate smart dimension click this point make 20 millimeter and this line make 5 millimeter And this line make 20 millimeter. Activate reforce boss. Okay. See the outlet flow is ready. And now we want to make inlet flow. Right click this face and click sketch. Click the edge and convert editor. Click extrude boss. Make 3 mm. Okay. Right click this face and click sketch. Activate center line, click this point to this point, activate circle, click this point, and make diameter of circle is 87 millimeter, and make center line length is uh, 15 millimeter.
defeat extrude cut through all okay the hole is making activate plan and right plan for reference with a distance 15 mm click ok right click this plan and click sketch Interfit line, center line. Click this point to this point. Activit line. Click in this edge to this point. Activit smart dimension. Click this line and this line make 43.5 mm create this line make 50 mm this line 5 mm This line 20 mm. This line and this line make minus 3 mm. Activate the whole field boss. Click OK. See the inlet flow is ready. And now we make bolt hole in inlet and outlet face. Right click this face and grid sketch it defeats certain line click this point to this point activate vertex click this point it's its sketch it defeat whole result choose this whole type standard ISO and make diameter 10 mm and choose and condition up to surface choose this face go to position create 3d sketch click this, this point okay We do same with inlet. Click the surface and click sketch. Activate center line. Click this point to this point. Click vertex. Click this point. Okay.
active with whole wizard same before that click position and click this point choose and condition up to surface to this face ok see the ball hole is ready right click the skates and hide activate circular pattern click this hole and click this edge see the 5 hole making same with that activate circular pattern click this hole and click this edge ok see uh, this casing almost ready and now I want to make bolt hole in this face right click this face and click sketch activate certain line click this point to this point activate vertex click this point ok exit sketch activate hold wizard choose this hole type and make diameter 3mm choose blind and condition make 5mm click position and click this point ok see the hole is making right click the sketch and hide Activate circular pattern. Click this hole and click this edge. See the hole, five hole is making. Okay. And now I want to change color of this casing. The color like casting material. Click this and this. Choose the color and choose cast stainless steel color. Okay, see uh, the casing centrifugal pump is ready, and now we want make casing back there. Go to front plan, activate circle, click this point, activate smart dimension, and make diameter circle is 165mm. Activate extrude boss, and make 3mm. Ok. Click this face and click sketch. Activate certain line. Click this point to this point. Activate smart dimension. Click this point to this point. Make 80 mm. Exit sketch. Activate hold wizard with parameter like this. Click position, click 3D sketch, and click this point. Go to go to end condition. 
click through all okay create this sketch and high activate circular button click this hole and click this edge make 5 ok see 5 hole is ready right click this face click sketch activate circle click this point activate certain line click this point to this point activate smart dimension and make line length is 15 and make circle diameter is 16 click as root cut and click through all ok and I want this color like casting material click this and click still color and choose stainless steel casting click ok see the casting is ready go to right plan activate line click this point to this point to this point to this point and to this point it fits more dimension and make this 3 millimeter make this line 7 8 millimeter Make this line 3T millimeter and make this line 3T millimeter. Activate fillet with radius 10 millimeter. Click this point and OK. Activate Revolver Boss Click this line And OK Click this face And click Sketch Activate Circle Click this point To this point Make diameter of circle is 60mm Activate center line. Click this point to this point, this point, and to this point. Activate smart dimension. Click this line and this line make uh, 45 degree. Activate three point arc. Click this point to this point and make radius 45 millimeter. Ac 
defeat offset click this line make 4 mm and click reference direction click ok click this edge and click convert as title activate extend click this line and after that activate trim cut this line this line and this line ok activate extrude boss make this 40 mm ok activate circular pattern click this face and click this edge make egg ok see egg blade is ready right click this face activate circle and make the circle is 16 activate extrude boss and make this 3d millimeter ok I think the blend too big right click this and make uh, this catch 80 millimeter ok see the impeller is ready and now I want to change color of the impeller click this and this choose metal color and steel color like this hmm not good and I think matte color is good click ok see the impeller is ready Insert casing, click open, right click casing, make float, activate mat, click from plan to from plan casing, ok, click top plan to top plan casing. Okay. Click right plan to right plan. Okay. After that, insert impeller and casing. Click this. Insert impeller and casing. Activate mat Click this face To this face Sorry 
this face to this face click this whole face to this face ok see the casing is ready now we insert the impeller make this transparent activate mate click this face to this face ok click this face to this face make distance 13 mm ok see the centrifugal pump is ready See, you can see insert of certain rugal pump. Click OK. And see, impeller and casing not friction. And I hope you like this tutorial and can enjoy this tutorial. And I hope this video tutorial can help you design in SolidWorks. Just enjoy and like it. Thanks for watching. See ya.